<laughs> hello, hello, how are you? I am back again and I am waving around a Jo Malone bottle because I'm doing a Jo Malone video. You know me, I love, love, love to do a Jo Malone video. I love Jo Malone, it's one of my favorite brands. I love it, it's beautiful. Today I am wearing Velvet Rose and Oud and I feel like a queen. I love this one, it is absolutely charming. It's from the jo it's from the Jo Malone Cologne Intense range and it's a joy. When I first smelled this, I wasn't that into it and now I love it, I love it. Which is why you should always revisit perfumes. Like don't write something off, just, just try it once in a blue moon. Like, you know what I mean? Anyway, I always love going into the Jo Malone stores and just having a sniff around and there might be something that like one year, I'm like, ugh, I'm not into this perfume. And then like two years later, I'm like, now I'm into it, you know? So that was one of those ones with me. I just wasn't into it at first. And now it's one of my absolute faves, which is crazy. Anyway, um, today I want to do a quick video on do Jo Malone ever do sales? And also how to score a Jo Malone discount. Whew. So first things first, do Jo Malone ever do sales? No, they do not. That is basically <laughs> the question answered. Do they do sales? No, they don't. Um, they don't do a summer sale, they don't do a Christmas sale. They just don't do seasonal sales at all. Um, if they have done a limited edition product or they're discontinuing a perfume, they generally just sell it through. If there is a perfume that you love that you can't see on the shelf anymore and you know that they've discontinued it, it's actually always worth asking the sales assistant do you have any left? Because sometimes they actually do have them left in the back. And what they do is they will store them for a while. And then if any super fans of that one fragrance come in and say, oh my God, I love Wild Fig and Cassis and you discontinued it, which actually is not true. They have brought it back. But back when they did do it and then they discontinued it, you know, they would have a few bottles that were left over, not on the shelf. And then if anybody came in and asked for it, they'd be able to sell it to you. Um, so yeah, generally, if they discontinue a perfume, they don't generally put it on sale. And yeah, they don't have seasonal sales. They don't even do discount weekends. They really, they are one of those brands where they just don't go on sale. Um, so yeah, if you're waiting for like Christmas or the summer sale, I would say don't bother <laughs> because they just don't go on sale. Um, there is some ways to get a discount though. So I will share them with you. But yeah, generally, do they go on sale? No, 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 no. So yeah, um, the only thing I would say is the stores sometimes do, is they do do a gift with purchase. And right now, because we're coming up to Christmas, they do have a gift with purchase. I can't remember the details off the top of my head, but I think it's around, spend like 120 pounds or more. And there is th like a trio of three small products. And that is your gift with purchase. It's very lovely, it's very sweet. I think they only do that twice a year. They do generally one, I think in the summer, and then they do one around Christmas, but like, that's basically the best you're gonna get. They don't even have a mailing list that you sign up to and get 10% off. Um, it really is a kind of a no discount kind of brand. However, I have some sneaky ways, which we will get into now. And I have my cheat sheet with me, so I'm ready to go. Okay. The first way to get a discount at Jo Malone is at the airport, duty-free shopping. If you are traveling and there is duty-free, get your butt over to Jo Malone or a Jo Malone concession because you will get 20% off. And it's not over like random obscure things. It's like on the best sellers. Like if you want pomegranate noir, if you want lime basil mandarin, if you want English paraphrasia, you're not gonna get it on discount really anywhere else. But if you go to the airport, that is 20% off with duty-free shopping. It is well worth taking advantage of. I know they have at least one store at Heathrow. They might have a few more. And they have concessions at different stores, at different airports. But there is actually quite a lot of Jo Malone duty-free stores. So if you're traveling, if your partner's traveling, if your parents are traveling, get them to get you some Jo Malone. Um, yeah, while they're at the airport. Sorry, that's my boyfriend calling. Um, the next way is Black Friday. Now, traditionally, Jo Malone don't really get involved in Black Friday. Um, they just don't. They might, they might do this year. I don't know. I have no, I have no clue what they have planned. However, one of their retailers may, and they might have Black Friday deals via a retailer, not via Jo Malone themselves, but via a retailer. So, for instance, Look Fantastic have Jo Malone, Harrods, Selfridges. Um, 
I should know this. Um, some of the ones in America, I think Neiman Marcus, I think Nordstrom, um, Selfridges, did I say them already? But yeah, if you are shopping through a stockist, do um, do look out for uh, Jo Malone Black Friday deals. Sometimes they don't involve themselves in Black Friday deals, but sometimes they just might, they might, you just don't know. The stores might insist, but sometimes Jo Malone are like, no, no deals, no deals from anyone. Um, so do have a look out at Black Friday, but again, get in there quick because it is hard to get a Jo Malone discount anywhere and if there is any stock which goes on black friday sale it might sell quick okay next way if any of your friends or <laughs> anybody you know work at joe malone or work at a joe malone retailer and get a staff discount it is worth being a little bit cheeky and saying would you mind if i gave you the money would you mind terribly buying me a little bit of Joe Malone. Some people are very, very, very strict with their staff discounts because they might get capped at a certain amount. Sometimes you can get in a lot of trouble if you purchase things with a staff discount for somebody else, but it is worth asking. And also I will say this as somebody who has worked in retail, um, if you have a staff discount that you know somebody would like access to, and they have a staff discount that you would like access to, it is worth saying, is there anything that you want from the where I work? And we could switch staff discounts. So yeah, it doesn't have to be Jerome alone. It could just be a stockist of theirs, Selfridges, John Lewis, Harrods, Look Fantastic, you know, all the different retailers that they stock through. Again, it might just be worth asking anybody that you know if they are willing to trade staff discounts. You might have to be quite careful because people can get in trouble. So you can't just like rock up and be like, I'm gonna use your staff discount. It might be a thing where you have to transfer the money, they have to go in and buy it for you, then they have to give it to you next time they see it, blah, 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 but it is worth asking. Um, next, I would say sign up to the stockist's mailing list. Just because sometimes when you sign up to the mailing list, you get 10% off your first order. Um, and sometimes Joe Malone are exempt, sometimes they're included, so, you know, it's worth trying. Um, but yeah, it is worth looking at that. And I think, I think at certain times of the year, some of their stockists also do a gift with purchase. So they might not do a discount, but they might do a gift with purchase. So it's worth having that. And then finally, finally, um, the last one is something that not many people realize, but... Jo Malone have a store at Bista Village. Bista Village, if you don't know, is a discount outlet. It's amazing. And um, yeah, they have a store there and they sell, um, they sell like gift sets. They sell um, limited edition versions of things which um, haven't quite sold out and they're kind of like quite seasonal. So for instance, like if it's a Christmas limited edition bottle, you might find it in the Bista Village store. If it's a limited edition pot of a candle, you might find it there. If it's a candle that's sold really badly, you might find it at Bista Village. And um, yeah, it's kind of, that is where they clear out. Um, sometimes they hold things in store. Sometimes they do ship it to Bista Village. So it is worth having a look. For instance, if you've got perfume bottles, which the like don't quite meet quality control because you know the label hasn't been stuck on properly, that's the kind of thing that you might find at Bista Village. Or if there's a candle pot which was limited edition and hasn't sold through, again, you might find it at Bista Village. So it is worth having a look. And if you're thinking to yourself, I don't live near to Bista Village, I cannot drive there in the hope of getting a little bit of money off a candle, then this is somebody that something that not many people realize but Bista Village, you can phone up the stores and say, um, I would really like to say, buy a candle. Um, what candles can, do you have in stock at the moment? And do you do mail order? And a lot of the Bista Village stores do do mail order. So if you're looking for, I don't know, red roses in the classic bottle, you might not get it at Bista Village. But if you're looking for, say, a candle and you wanna phone them up and say, hi, do you have any candles? Can I buy mail order? Then you know they will tell you what they've got and hopefully they'll ship it to you as well um and then similarly you never know if they got like a pomegranate noir which is in a limited edition christmas bottle and it's now april and um yeah they have them in store you just don't know but yeah if you phone them up they might be able to help you and they might be able to help you with limited edition kind of products and mail order as well but one thing i would say on that 
is as tempting as it might be to phone on a Saturday afternoon, I would advise against doing that. I would personally try and call maybe when the store opens on a weekday when they're not busy, like not, you know, not Christmas rush basically, um, because that's when the sale assistants will have a little bit more time and they might just be able to kind of help you a little bit more on the phone and kind of walk you around the shop and kind of talk to you about what they have. And that goes for all business village stores as well. Like don't call them on a Saturday afternoon. Don't call them at peak times because you know, they're only human and there's only a certain amount of staff. And um, yeah, they just might not have the time to kind of like help you as thoroughly as they might be able to help you at off peak times. So yeah, that is my video on how to get a discount at Jo Malone. And of course, answering the question, do Jo Malone ever do sales? Whew, that's my video. Um, I hope it's of help. I will put the Jo Malone link below. Don't forget there is a gift with purchase at the moment. Um, this is Velvet Rose and Oud, which I cannot recommend enough. And I hope my video is of help. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.